So when you're reading your gauge, you'll notice that the surface of the water kind of dips down in the middle. It's got a little convex shape. And so you'll want to read it at the lowest point in the middle. Um, and so you'll see that's usually about a hundredth of an inch lower than where the top of the surface is around the edges. So in this case, I've got about 32 hundredths around the edges, but the middle actually dips down to about 31 hundredths. So I'll record 31 hundredths on the website. So after I'm done reading the measurement, then I'll take out the inner tube and I'll empty it every day. And I'll make sure that I shake it out so that no moisture is left in there. And then I'll replace the inner tube, put the funnel back on, and then it's empty and tomorrow I'll read it again. In the event that you get a real serious downpour of over an inch, the water will spill out of the, the inner tube into the outer tube. And in that case, you'll note that there's one inch of precipitation. You'll take the inner tube out, empty it, and then you can take the outer tube and pour it into the inner tube to see what excess above an inch that you got in that storm.